like the pastor of the church, we tell you the straight hardcore truth. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 10. Yeah, you and you mad. But you know what? When the most high gives us the spiritual powers, we're gonna deal with you too. Two-thirds of our own people. We're gonna deal with you, man. Yep. That's what it said in uh 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 I get it. in Peter's where it said uh in uh, Peter's where it said uh we get Peter. I got this in Isaiah uh 30 and 10. It said, we say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth, smooth things, prophesy deceit. So that was, that was two thirds of our people want to hear deceit. 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 And we're in the time of war. We're in the time of war, man. We telling you what's coming to this place, and we're in the time of war. I tell you that in Ecclesiastes chapter uh, three. It's a time to love, and it's a time to hate. It's a time for peace, and it's a time for war. So we at war, man. You know? Yeah, it's a time. I'm gonna continue. This verse, uh, it's Isaiah 30, verse 11. Get, get ye out of the way, turn turn aside out of the path, cast the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's what you tell us when we tell you that the Most High sent his son down here for the nation of Israel. When he sent you, I was shot down here for the nation of Israel, who you ignorant called Jesus. You'll say, no, nah, that's not right. That's your opinion. That's what you think. You see? But the same person that say, that's your opinion, that what you think, don't even read the scriptures. And then, if they do read the scriptures, and you read it to them, they'll sit there and say, oh, I knew that. Boy, these motherfuckers so mellow, man. Our people so mellow, man. They, 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 the devil, man. They joining right with Esau, man. Two thirds of our people join right with Esau, man. The white man, according to the Bible, man. He's a devil. This first Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Yep. And if it begin with us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? Now who is the house of God? The Negro, Latino, the Native American. Who is the house of Yahweh? You see? Bah Shem Yahweh shot. Who is the house? The Negro, Latino, the Native American. So for the for the brothers who come out here and teach his word through the spirit of y'all, I shot. shot. Lord willing, we make it. But what is it to you when you ain't even doing the work? Man, you can Man, I'm telling you, man. The white man is not going to make it. The scriptures is not for the white man. He gave these scriptures for us. The Negro, Latino, the Native American, the Heavenly Father and His Son gave these scriptures to us. Not for the white man, he's a devil, man. You see? Isaiah 41 and 13. For I, the Most High, the God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Says, fear not that I will help you. Read that again. 41, Isaiah 41 and 13. For the most high, Yahweh Shai will hold the right. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hold the right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. Says, fear not, I will help thee. In that time, when you uh, standing in line, and they tell you, take this chip or die, fear not. When martial law comes, fear not. What you say, I'm, I'm going to be right there with you. So don't, don't, don't give in to this bullshit of, of America. And what, this, what Esau, they showing you, matter of fact, they got a commercial on TV where they show you how easy it is to have a chip. Go in the grocery store, just get what you want, and walk out. I don't believe in that shit. That shit is death unto you. So in Revelation 13 and 16, and Revelation 14 and 9, you 
you take that chip, man, that's your death. Yeah. Isaiah 41 and 14. And that there's... chip is that RFID chip. That's the mark of the beast. Okay, that RFID chip. All right. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, no worms, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, shall the, shall the Most High and thy Redeemer and the Holy One of Israel. See, it says the worm. That worm, that's the men of Israel. Now, when you have a worm, where does a worm live at? A worm lives under the ground. So that's 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 telling you the the men of Israel we had a low state. In America, man, we at the bottom, man. Our kids don't mind us. They give our they give our women the best job. They fuck up. All the nations don't like the men of Israel. We had a low state. So that's why we in the scriptures, man, waiting on y'all about Shimmy Abishai to come back to set us up to be the ruling bodies of this place, man. Then we're going to get our praise then. And we're going to put our foot in y'all ass at that time. Yep. For all the damn people that fucked up. And you the nigga woman. Hold on, let me get that. Let me add that in now. Uh, let me see. Gonna, hey, man. You're going to be in the right order in that day. Oh, yeah. No, no matter how bad you don't like it, you gonna die on this side, but you'll be going back through, through, through the ones that hurt. Oh uh, yeah, it says uh, this uh, Micah seven and nine, and I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against Him until he plead my case and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall and I shall behold his righteousness. So that's telling you the Negro Latino the Native American is getting punished righteous anger by the heavenly father. And we plead our case on the highway and byway to come judge this society. Okay? And just like with that Willie Lynch, just like with that Willie Lynch letter, when you go research that letter and look it up, Willie Lynch came over here in 1712 in Virginia. And he gave documents to the uh, so-called white man, which is Esau, how to keep us in slavery. And he said, look, we gonna, if you do what I tell you to do, you gonna be able to keep them in slavery for 300 years, okay, when you read that document. Now, from 1712 to, uh, from 1712 to 300 years, if you add that up, that come all the way up to 2012. All right, now I'm gonna read this here. Now I said that to read this. Then, then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her, and now she she be trotted down as the mire in the street of the streets. Shit in the street. So that shit in the street. So that letter that Willie Lynch uh, uh, wrote to the to the so-called uh, to the slave masters, which was the so-called white man, Esau, according to the Bible. He told them to put the women over the men, and that's what that's how you're gonna rule the men. And that caused nothing but confusion. And then the women want to be in authority, and all you gotta look around, all you gotta do is look around, the women in authority today, the Esau in authority today, and everything fucked up. And what they do is work together as a team to keep the black man, the so-called black man down. You see? So therefore, that's why we can't uh, 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 get up a rule because of the most high punishing us as a people and he got the he got the goddamn nigga woman over us and Esau over us. So we all fucked up. And then the woman to look at you and say, oh, well that's well that's your fault. No. You being the devil because you don't want to join with me when I'm telling you according to the scriptures what you supposed to do. So you being the devil, you bucking up 